Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video, and I'm going to tell anyone who actually only cares about the answer, I'm going to tell you the answer right now. It is the RX 580. End of story. Uh, for anyone that wants to know why, you can stick around and I'll explain, but for anyone that just wants to come on, get the answer, and leave, it's the RX 580 is what you should go with. But, okay, so let's go into the actual exp explanation now that anyone who just wanted the answer has left. This is a GTX uh, 1050, and this is an RX 580. Just kidding, this is a GTX 6, this is a GT640, but you would believe me if I told you it was a GTX 1050. What does that say about the card? That's the point, but um, I don't have a GTX 1050 because I'm smart enough not to buy that stupid card. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm using such harsh language to describe the 1050. Does it reveal my AMD bias? Well, the answer is no. It reveals my slight intellect towards the fact that you should never buy a GTX card with a 5 in it. Okay, so basically, all I'm going to tell you guys is that the RX 580, for the same price, you can, ver it's, you might have to do some looking, but you can find either a used or new RX 580 for the same price as you'll find the same tier 1050 or 1050 Ti, and it is better. It performs better. The RX 580 8GB model, even the 4GB model, performs better, but the 8GB model has two times the amount of VRAM than the 1050 Ti, which is, I have often found to be more expensive than the RX 588 gig. So, if that says anything right there, VRAM alone, we're doing pretty good. But, I have a simple rule. So, you're probably wondering, like, why do I already know the answer without actually having a 1050 Ti? Well, first of all, I can look at the numbers. Um, I think it's much, like, I could show you numbers. I could be like, this is what it does. I think it's much more powerful or more persuasive to say, this is what the numbers say, and then have you look it up and, and verify that that's what the numbers will say. The, the RX 580 performs better in games, especially games with a lot of graphic detail. Like PUBG, you'll find better performance because it uses a lot of VRAM. Um, but that's, that's the point. Um, I have a simple rule. So if you're wondering, if you want to take something away with this, uh, take away something from this video that will help you when buying a graphics card... It's simple. If the graphics card name does not have a 7 or higher after a letter or number, it is not worth your money. Now, I never said it wasn't a good card, because the RTX 2060 is a good card. I said it is not worth your money. Let me explain. And I have tested this with graphics cards all the way back to things like the R9 Fury X which has a letter, R, and then a number, 9, which is higher than 7, Fury X. I have personally used, and I still use for editing, I love that card. The R9 Fury X is an amazing deal for $100. The RX 570 is the lowest tier card of modern cards that follows this trend. The RX 570, 8 gig, don't forget, 7 or higher. I, I Now, that, that part is, is you know extenuating, but I prefer VRAM more VRAM for the same price. So I always go 8 gig models. Whenever I talk about the RX 570, 580, or 590, I specifically mean the 8 gig models, not the 4 gig models. You'll see it. It'll be like 8 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte after the name. Um, now, this is an RX 580 2048 SP. A uh, little bit different, but still RX 580 8 gig, so I'm fine with it. So the RX 570, I find to be worth your money. I have seen RX 578 gigs for as low as $60 on the used end. Now, that's very low. That's very... But often, you'll find it for maybe $100. That's still a great deal. The RX 578 gig is an amazing performer. It For the money, it performs well. Same thing for the RX 580. 580. 8. 7 or higher after the number, and the 590 is just better. They all perform well for less than $200. So some people say, like, new, you, I've seen a five, I've seen 590s new for, like, 189 so I'm going to say less than $200. Now, tax, I'm not bitwit, so I'll include tax in my price. Uh, side note, uh, I tend to get distracted, and I have to say this. I'm going to make a video about this, but I have to say this now. When... YouTubers do these like brand new 1000 it's like I need to make a $1000 budget build strict $1000 budget and then they don't include sales tax. So Bitwit I love you but he made a video where he had a strict $1000 budget. He's like we just got right under $1000. I'm like you included sales tax on none of those items. That is an $1100 PC at the minimum. And he lives in California which has a 10% sales tax on items. Besides the point Back to our, our point. 
So other cards this applies to. The RTX 2060. It's a great card. I'm not I'm I do like AMD more just because of the value proposition, but I'm not gonna deny that NVIDIA makes higher power cards. The RTX 2060 is a great card. But it's also expensive. And for the same price, you can get an RX 5700 X or RX 5700, no XT. For the same price, and it performs better. It has a slight performance boost over the RTX 2060. Now, the 2060 Super, yes, it adds those 2 gigs of VRAM it was missing, but there's still the RX 5700. I have found to beat it in most games, and especially for the price. It costs less and performs better than the 2060 Super. I think 2060 Super is like 400 bucks or something like that. I don't know, actually. But um, I don't think the 2060 Super is a good value proposition. Now... The RTX 2070, well, it's got a 7, and it's after a number. While I personally don't believe the 2070 is value proposition because I, I prefer the RX 5700 XT, the 2070 Super, the new one, does beat out the tw uh, 5700 XT in some, if not a lot, of applications. So, for that reason, it is a good value proposition. And then we have the 2080, which is just, you can't get, besides the Radeon 7, you can't get... A uh, Radeon Seven, you can't get a um, uh, AMD card that's as good for the same price. And then the twenty eighty Ti is just like we're, we're getting past value. We're getting to the point of just it's expensive. It's the best card you can get. The fifty seven hundred XT again seven has the same value proposition. It beats the RTX twenty seventy non super in a lot of applications. Destroys the twenty sixty for a relatively low price of four hundred dollars. Including now you can get the fan models which crush everything. So. That's just my thing. So if it doesn't have a 7 after a number, the reason I'm saying 7 after a number or a letter is because I don't want someone to go with like GTX. And I don't count like GTX as letters and numbers. I don't want someone to go out and be like, well, the GTX 750, that must be a great value proposition. It's got a 7 in it. No, I mean like, you know, 7 in the in the name. So 5700 R9 Fury X. Uh, and the other ones I named. RX 570. All right. So that's that's the point of the video. I have found personally, even just looking at the numbers, the 1050 Ti just does not compete for the value proposition the same as the RX 580 does. Now, this is currently the only RX 580 I have because I've given away all my Red Devil ones and I have one I've loaned. Though, honestly, he's probably just going to end up keeping it because I don't care. Uh, I've loaned, see that Red Devil box behind me? It's empty because I loaned my RX 580 Red Devil to my friend in his uh, PC because uh, I'm nice like that. Is it straight? I don't know. But uh, as you can see, my Tower 900 is still taking up the entire screen. Thank you for that. I, I just, I didn't think, I really had no idea it was this big in person. Like I said, it's about half as tall as I am on its own. And almost as tall as I am when it's on this, on this desk. Um, I still have my test rig in there. I need to put this power supply that you can barely see uh, in there uh, to test this. I might do a time lapse. But personally, uh, we're past the point of the video. I've already answered it. So if you just came here for the answer and the explanation, we're past that. We're just talking at this point. Um, I, I lost my train of thought. That's what I did. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I was going to do a time lapse building the test rig and then a time lapse building the uh, the threader per system in here. My only problem with that is that I actually don't have music. Like, I have no idea what music to I have no sense of like good music for time lapses. I know what music I like, but half of it's copyrighted and the other half of it sucks. So I have no clue what to use in like music wise because you have to have music on time lapse also it's boring as heck. Um and any any music that I would use I've already used. But whatever. Let's uh finish out this video. So I hope you learned something. If it doesn't have a seven after a number or a letter, it is not worth your time or your money. Um like I said, some people still like the RTX 2060. If you really want the benefits of rtx which are very minimal or here's another thing the new stream processor this like the new turing streaming processor is is great and all but you know i still prefer streaming off cpu anyway that's the point 57 you know rx 570 slash 580 i'm gonna put 580 in the title because that's the card i specifically have uh the rx 580 is better than 1050 ti i'm answering this because i've received it so many times i've answered it in each comment but i'm going to answer it in a video uh, and also, I'm hoping for views. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.